What, uh, what do you do, Jess? I'm a designer. A designer. A designer of what? Hats? Clothing. Clothing? Oh, could include hats. Yeah. Hats are clothing, aren't they? Or are they accessories? Both. Both. That's where it gets confusing. <laughs> where, where do you put them in the store? You, oh, you design baby clothes for Oshkosh for Gosh. Just so you don't... And you just said, are you from the South? Yes. It slipped out then, because she was like, I design clothing. Oshkosh for Gosh, I do. <laughs> um, it was like being a little Georgia wedding right there. <laughs> do you accept this peach pie? Um, I do. Sorry, cobbler. What, um, see, I know your lingo. Jess, um, Jess, uh, do you consider us acquaintances now? Okay, cool. Can I get your company discount for Osh Kosh Bagosh, please? <laughs> it is. I, I, when I first moved to America, I didn't know what Osh Kosh Bagosh was because we do not have that in the United Kingdom. Uh, in the United Kingdom, babies just wear little little plastic bags that they find on the street and they crawl around. Help me. The. <laughs> I was in an Uber in LA, and the, the, this is not an interesting story, but it happened. The Uber driver was like, oh, you got a kid? And I was like, I'm hoping to. He goes, you got to get them Osh Kosh Bagosh. That's the best baby clothes. And I was like, I've never heard of Osh Kosh Bagosh. And he wound down his window and shouted at the man in the car next to him, this guy's never heard of Osh Kosh Bagosh. <laughs> and that guy ignored that man, because <laughs> that is a crazy thing to shout. That Uber driver also... Uh, asked another driver if he could have a go of his car. He was like, yo, bro, that's a sick ride. Can I have a go? That guy also ignored him. And he shouted at a woman on the street, Paris, Paris. And then turned to me and said, I thought it was Paris Hilton. <laughs> it wasn't Paris Hilton. <laughs> Jess, um, who are you with tonight? Your boyfriend. Uh, just don't worry, I'm going to flirt with you as well. What is, what is your name, boyfriend? Josh, that's a handsome beard you've got, Josh. Has it been complimented already tonight? Uh, no, I don't think well, so. allow me to be the first. It's a beautiful... <laughs> For those of you that can't see, imagine the pubis of a, a lady in the 1970s, but neatly trimmed and put on a man's face. It's verdant, it's lush, and I... <laughs> did... So it was Josh, wasn't it? I, lo I lost myself in that reverie. <laughs> Reverie's a word for dream. It, uh, Jess, Jess and Josh, that's lovely, isn't it? That's beautiful. That's really fitting, I think. Uh, what, are your, what are your birth months? August. August and... Ah, oh, you're going to break up. That's sad. <laughs> <laughs> that's what astrology is. That's all that is, isn't it? <laughs> Jess and Josh, um, do, do you only date people who rhyme for the company you design clothes for? No. No. You weren't like, I work for Osh Kosh Bagosh and I'm going to go out with Josh. Yeah, that's good. Um, I thought that would be funnier. That's all right. <laughs> Josh, um, how, did Josh have the beard when you met him? No. No? Did you encourage him to grow it? No. No? Oh. I hate to break it to you, Josh. I don't think she likes it. She would have said otherwise. She would be like, no, but I love it. And what she said was, no, please make him shave it off, Chris. She actually DM'd me before the show. To be like, can you make this look spontaneous? And then we do an intervention and Josh shaves off his beard. And I only say that because I'm super self-conscious that I'm 34 and I can't grow one myself. <laughs> How old are you, Josh? 31. Fuck you with your... <laughs> Testosterone doesn't exist in England. <laughs> we don't... <laughs> when you threw our tea in the sea, we lost our tea. <laughs> <laughs> we did in more ways than one. Josh, Josh and Jess from Oshkosh Bagosh. This is great. What do you do, Josh? Soft, almost rhymed. Software development for what company? Uh, company called BlackRock. Company called BlackRock. Holy shit, that's, that's a big deal. I love that he was like, oh yeah, I'm going to impress him with that. I didn't think you were allowed beards when you work for big companies like that. Uh, it depends. Are you a boss? Are you a boss, Josh? No. Are you lowly? <laughs> <laughs> Mid-tier, that's pretty good. Bla How do you describe BlackRock to people who may not know what they do? Oh, that's, a tough one. that's a tough one. You can say it. You've got a charming southern accent, so no one's going to think you're a bad person. <laughs> finance. finance. In, in the south? Largest finance in the world. I know they're the largest. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's, uh, have you ever been to Jeffrey Epstein's island, Josh? <laughs> He was, he was like, I'm not sure I want to invite this Josh. Then Josh was like, actually, my girlfriend designs clothes for children. And um, 
old mate Jeffers was like, I prefer it when they don't have any of those, actually. <laughs> She's actively standing in the way of my, my desires. Jess and Josh. So he, he works for a very nefarious financial company. Jess works for Oshkosh. But gosh, what's the most challenging type of children's clothes to design is my first question, and then I'll ask you my second. Shoes. Shoes? Most annoying for parents as well, because they grow out of them so quickly, but they're so expensive. So are they the hardest design but biggest money maker for the company, I presume? Lowest margin. Lowest margin, really? Because you actually you treat your workers fairly and they're made with real leather. <laughs> That's where you're falling down. That's where... <laughs> I reckon a guy who works for BlackRock could help you out on that one. <laughs> Cut costs, employ miners. It's <laughs> the Jeffrey Epstein motto as well. The, um... It's all right. And um, my second question is, why do the osh kosh bagosh um, pants that I bought my daughter have pockets? She is two years old. <laughs> What does she own that she's going to... I have pockets, you know what they hold? They hold a phone, and that's about it, right? She doesn't have a phone. She doesn't have any money. Why, do, why does she have pockets? I'm surprised they still have them. You're surprised they still have them? Well, thank you. Re rectify it. No pockets. Big revelation of the set. Babies don't have money. That's why... And really, they don't have money. Well, how are they going to get it? Loan sharks, right? But then, what do loan sharks... This is a thing I think about a lot. What do loan sharks do when you don't pay them back? They break your kneecaps. But, we all know, babies don't have kneecaps, do they? She knows that because she's a fashion designer. And so you have to... This has been cut for a man's kneecap. Babies, you don't have to add that in. Don't have kneecaps. Can't break them. <laughs> Smartest people in the world, the British. <laughs> Jess and Josh... Growing up, you didn't want to be a baby clothes fashion designer. You didn't want to be a black rock software engineer. What did you want to be? Just rich. Just rich? <laughs> so you were like, I see Josh there. <laughs> you just wanted to be rich. And you were growing up where? Jersey. Jersey. Why do you sound like you sound then? Are you putting this on? No, because when I moved to North Carolina. You moved to North Carolina. Oh, that's so... God, I mean, that's, it's rare that moving to North Carolina is an improvement on where you used to live. <laughs> I think you managed it. I think, which bit of North Carolina? Charlotte, Asheville? Charlotte. Charlotte. Cool, fucking great. And then, then, Josh, what was your dream when you were a little boy? Little boy growing up where? Uh, South Georgia. South Georgia. So not Atlanta, otherwise you would have said it. Whereabouts? Uh, Valdosta. Valdosta? Correct. That sounds very Spanish, doesn't it? Near Florida. Near Florida. Oh, okay, at least it wasn't Florida. <laughs> what did you want to be? Rich. But no, but Carl, you can't say both have this. I know you're perfect for each other, but what was your dream as a little boy? And don't worry, this is heading somewhere. <laughs> You thought about dentistry, beautiful, and the fact that you said it with no consonants whatsoever. <laughs> dentistry, he was like, dentistry. <laughs> Lovely. You thought, but your dad was what? Your dad was against dentistry. He was a dentist. He was a dentist, and he was like, this is a terrible job. It's the job with the highest suicide rate of any mainstream profession. For time, yeah. yeah, for a long time. Wait, who's beating it now? Uh, I don't know, but I don't think it's the top of the list. You don't think it's top of the list? Fuck. That's disappointing. They need to reclaim their title. Okay. All right. I could do something with this. Um, DJ Armstead, do you wanna do you wanna do your thing? Give me some give me some smooth some smooth musical accompaniment. That's what I want. Because uh, Josh and Jess, you didn't ask what I wanted to be when I was younger. I wanted to be a rapper. That was my dream. That was my goal. Uh, and so let's see. Let's see if we can live that dream right now. This is a rap about Josh and Jess. Let's make some noise. Fingers crossed. Cool. Bars serve proper, bars on offer South of Georgia, specifically Venosta What the fuck is that? At least across the border from Florida You be moving from Jersey Who follows you, your whole family They were like, okay, North Carolina Not Charlotte, Raleigh Now nah, flip that, Charlotte was the place you adore it Get the accent, you be rooting for the Hornets That's the blue little thing with the sting You got the hat on, cause it's freezing Walk inside the comedy club, rubbing your arms Like I need my nice 
headgear to keep warm. Maybe it's so cold that you feared you could snuggle up into Josh's beard. Burrow your face, I know I got it wrong. I was like, it looks like a pubis mons. That's the mons pubis we run through this. He was clean shaven when you two met. You were like, oh, I love stroking your chin. But he knew he had to plan all the tea within. Trying to get the follicles out of his face. He'd be coming up software designer in disgrace. Working for BlackRock, he got a switch. But then Jess is like, nah, we'll be fucking rich. That's the aim as a small one from the small age. I was like, I hope I meet a guy of your financial stage. These days, he is aware. Not the bottom or the top mid-level software. It'd be so clear, he's the engineer. Beautiful coding, it brings a tear to the eye. I hope he's not offended. As a child, he was like, Daddy, can I be a dentist? Jesus Christ, in the mouth. Your dad's the best dentist there in the south or thereabouts. And he adores you, but said, no, we don't be a dentist down here in Georgia. Even though they got the cavities, because they eat the peach cobbler with such depravity. Eat a huge amount of the calories. They're slightly overweight. Yeah, you know this, I'm telling these. Anyway, we did the jokes about your job. Osh, kosh, bagosh. Yeah, not a slob getting all the money. Spend it on expensive clothes. Little margins on the shoes that cover their toes. If you've got a child, just go to the thrift store. I know you chose to sell things newly made, not secondhand. I'm just trying to put you on the street with your hand out begging because there's no jobs for Osh, kosh, bagosh. Just keep saying it like my mouth turns to tosh. Strange. That's the clothing for the babies. Remember the Jeffrey Epstein joke made him crazy. But that's the little thing that I hand you. British, you're from the South, still understand you. Jeffrey Epstein, yeah, I can't stand him, but stand you. At least you didn't heckle me by saying Prince Andrew. <laughs> Lots of fun. You guys are lovely. My name's Chris Turner. Thank you very, very much. Good night. Goodbye.